Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the top four feature match between Brandon Wigley and Giovanni Del Moral in Yu-Gi-Oh! Overdose's second Dueling Network tournament. I'm joined today by uh, Alistair Albans. Alistair, why don't you say hello to everybody? Hi, guys. Okay, then. <laughs> so, uh, Brandon Wigley's using his uh, signature wind-up deck that uh, uh, he used at the last uh, last event. He bubbled in the last event. He was my pick to win that event, and here he is in top four of this uh, tournament. And... Uh, Giovanni is playing uh, Fire Fists, and they can't seem to finish a game of rock, paper, scissors. Jeez. There we go. Uh, so Giovanni's yeah. going to start with Fire Fists. Sweet. So uh, I think any better when it goes first. I don't know much about Fire Fists, but I'm, I'm assuming that any deck going first against wind-ups is better than it going second, so take that for what it's worth. Advantage. Uh. <laughs> Advantage, man. Although, I think, and this is after talking to a few friends who've been running the fire deck, wind-ups might... I don't... Oh, man, I don't, I don't even know if I should say this. Wind-ups might be a little bit better and might be favored in this matchup. Uh. Obviously, way better when first. But uh, does Brandon's deck... Ooh, Brandon's not even running... Can I, can I talk about his deck list? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. Brandon's not running Thunder King, which is like a huge card against the... The, um, the fire deck. So, uh, I, yeah, I don't like that. I also don't like the slowness of card card D in general. Especially since, yeah, I mean, I guess Phoenix Chain's really good against the fire deck, from what I've heard. And I guess Starlight Road in combination with, like, setting a bunch of back rows and going card card D is pretty cool, but in general, I don't think I'm a big fan of that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Thunder could really be helpful here, but, yeah, I guess not. It's just uh, not happening. Two things. First things first. Thunder King, um, is... Is, at least in my in my view, it's it's kind of like a hit or miss here, only because of these things like Beast King werewolves, and they could just trade their Vorse Raiders with it. Uh, there there's yeah. there are a lot of answers to the Thunder King. Separate from that, uh, he's running the the Abbott version of the Fire Deck, which I guess is the popular thing to do. And you cannot Fiendish Chain. Brandon, Brandon's running two copies of Fiendish Chain, and you can just lose games because, because you, you can't have, use uh, it. Yeah. Chain can't activate and just died at two thousand beats. So uh, yeah, no, I agree. The 2000 guy being able to attack over Thunder King, but um, maybe if Brandon were running a different version of the windups, like with, like I said, with a couple Thunder Kings and maybe something to replace Phoenix Chain, mm -hmm. uh, it would be. I'm not sure though. This doesn't look good for Brandon at all, though. Wow. Uh, from what I see, this is like basically how you just lose. Yeah. So uh, I'll also tell you that um, I've watched I think like six Fire Fist versus Windup games, and all six went in favor of. Fire Fists, with, and the game one was over in the, in the first six minutes. Maybe I'm just wrong then. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, the thing is that it just, it put, it has the ability to put the pressure on quick, which is, yeah. you know, if you, if you don't have that kind of hand with windups to, you know, to do something about it, then, uh, you know, you can lose right. really quickly. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Doesn't this just kill him? He doesn't have gores. Oh, wait, did he already attack? Wait, he, what? He, oh, okay, 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 never mind. I was not paying attention. You know, something else uh, to point out is that uh, every one of these games, by the way, I keep watching uh, these players open up with the the a lot of the normal monsters, but it's completely yeah. mitigated. Irrelevant? Yeah, it's irrelevant it's like, because of this, uh, this Tensu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, they get this guy, then they search a thing, and then it's they're still even in card advantage. But like now you have a now you're gonna have a play because now your this guy's effect is live. Yeah, it's crazy. So I mean, I guess the play is right. You activate Tenki, you search a guy, then the guy searches Tensu. Is that how that works? Uh, it depends on the situation, but yeah, no, for the most part, yeah. Bear searches Tensu. Oh, you can set one. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, wait, no, when that does battle damage. All right. See, I'm I'm terrible for this commentary. I just don't even know what these guys do. I just know that they're really powerful. <laughs> Yeah, well... Uh, is, does the fire would exist and is it played? I don't think so, is it? It's not played, no. I mean, some people... Well, there are actually... There are a couple different... Um, uh, that's the thing, actually, about Fire Fist. There are... I don't think the chicken's out yet, but there's, like, a chicken version. There's a, there's the version with the spell, the onslaught spell that brings back a big guy. I don't know if that's a Fire Fist version or a fire version, but there's just, like, a bunch of different ways you can go about this and a bunch of different ratios you can use. And... Uh, I mean, I guess I know about the haze beasts. They're pretty good at 
combination. It's, like the Haze, the one Haze Beast card was just insane. The uh, the twenty seven hundred guy that blows up all their monsters or whatever. Did you read the Exceed? What, which one? Uh, well, there there aren't uh, there aren't two fire for. I mean, there aren't two. Uh... Oh wait, there are. Yeah, my bad. I thought they had to be fire fist. Uh, he doesn't want to do it. He could have sent the three face-up fire formation spells to the graveyard to special the... Yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Yep. Is there a reason not to do it? Do I, is there something I don't know? Uh, I mean, maybe he wants to use uh, bring out two again and then do it again. I don't really know. I really don't know. So I probably would have. The what? Is actually up a card here. Uh, well, they're gonna they're gonna be right? even. Oh uh, well, no, no, no. Giovanni went first, right? Uh, yeah. See, they're okay. So they're even now, right? No, five no, no. Five. I mean, no. The G Giovanni still went first. He's down one. Right? If you don't count, and I don't count those. Yeah, that's why I'm not, I'm not saying he just says, "Well, he has five to five here." I guess I don't know. That's kind of weird. But it's only five to five on his draw, and he went first. Yeah. So, I mean, you don't really count him going first. You count afterwards. Why is he ever seeing that? Is, does that do something special? It, oh, it's a double special. summon. Oh, okay. That's kind of sucky to use an MST on that, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, you have to. I'm not saying it's a bad play. I'm just saying it's like a, not a good feeling to do that, have to do, or to feel the need to do that because you're just dead. So that sends us to read that Wiggly's other back row is not a way to stop any monster from killing him. Does that not what it say? I, yeah, okay. Or it was. You just didn't want to... I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry. Can you say it again? The way, the way he did the whole MST on the thing, I thought that meant that his other backer would not be a way to deal with another monster, but it was just a solid judgment, which makes me think, I don't know, maybe the fire deck, yeah, I guess he wouldn't have exceeded before attacking anyway, so I guess Solomon... Yeah, whatever. I, it's that was weird how it all happened. And Brandon is suffering from the annoyingness that is playing windups and drawing a whole bunch of monsters you have to set. Yeah, which is that doesn't really happen. Like it's just like a bunch of magicians and stuff like dead rats and whatnot. Really, it's really annoying when that happens. Which is why I don't like card cardy at all. Yeah, it's way too. Like I don't understand like how. With windups, you can just like use a turn to summon card car. And if you ever draw card car like late, like you can just be just dead most of the time. Like drawing two cards is awesome, and I want card card to be great, but I just don't see. I, I haven't seen how his games have gone. He obviously had a really good Swiss record, so maybe there's something I'm missing. Like how did you did you watch most of his games? Uh. I've watched a few of his games, and uh, I think I only watched the card car resolve once. Car, I'm in the same boat as you. I love card car as a card, the same way I love One Day of Peace and Upstart Goblin. But just some decks, you, it doesn't work out that well. Work out that well. I've tried to run card car many times. Same. Um, at the start of this format, I ran a like a rabbit deck with skill drains and card cardies and Barbarosas and Starlight Rogues and stuff, and it just didn't work. You just die too quickly. Right, so that Oh man, that's rough. Yeah. And that's just like a free card that you get, right? That makes your guys huge. You don't even have to, like, you just search for free, right? Say it again? The 10 cent. Oh, you you search it. You, I mean, uh, it, de it depends what you're, what you're, or how you're searching it. But yeah, you can search it for free. Seems pretty good, pretty good. So, I presume... I don't even know. Right, like it looks pretty good. He needs a he needs a rat. Yeah. Well, even then, his only target is like the other rat, right? And then yeah, I mean, but to do something or like a, a tour guide or something. Just some, not much. Like, 
when you're down by this much, like even if you could out card advantage your opponent, like at some point with a lucky draw like a rat or a tour guide or something like that, just being at nine fifty, that's 8, rough. 000, yeah. Because they can just do something stupid to just steal the game, even if you are up like five, six cards on them, it doesn't even matter. I watched uh, a fire deck be do something similar where he put out like that six thousand whatever, and then he did one thing with a cowboy, and it was game it happens. That, yeah, oh. Cowboy, that, Good. You I don't know, know if the fire decks are. Let me see. I can just look. I forgot I have that luxury. Uh oh, there is the tour guide. I got a cowboy, so he has that option. Let me. Uh, let me oh, sweet. Let me uh, point out one thing. The um, these fire decks, or at least, oh wow, there's a clutch failure. Wow, oh. clutch torrential. Okay. Yeah, that too. But I mean, it all it really gets him is the second which he has to bring on defense if he doesn't want to die. And I guess I get some rat, but then he has to hope that he doesn't have another hand trap or a back row to stop it. I don't know what. I think I is. think Brandon's gonna bring out a Sangin in defense, but he's got to hope that Giovanni doesn't have a bear to pop the Sangin and attack for game. Oh, that's what that does. Bear does that. Yeah, okay. but bear does do that. Um, separately. Just two. Uh, what you call it? The um. I want to point out that a lot of these fire decks, a lot of them are using force uh force raider, uh, which is a card. I mean, I just kind of always like, but separately, they use it for deck devastation virus, which gives them, when they draw it, like, like an amazing potential to just mess up windups. Uh, I want to get your thoughts on this. Do you think that, I'll tell you right now, that in my tournament right now, uh, I think three Fire Fists made top eight, and they were also, like, pretty largely represented. I, I, if, not, if, if not more popular than windups, then certainly, like, somewhere near on par. And, uh... Yeah. And uh, what I, I was like the, the idea of deck devastation virus. Um, it was running the the water deck too as a side deck card without any main deck darks besides like Gores or Trigoni if you want to count that. And yeah. it worked like mild, but I think it's way better in this because like voice for voice raiders the automatic just instant two thousand attack with uh, any of the the boosts. Uh, it continues. So, so, so yeah. So I mean, what the, my question virus. is? My question is this: Do you think, or do you have an opinion on this that? If Fire Fists see an uptick in popularity, well, I mean, it's they're new. So if if Fire Fists, if you, I, my first question is, do you think Fire Fists are going to be the new hot deck that most people are going to be playing? They're going to hop on them. And then second question is, if that does happen, uh, are we looking at the demise of windups? Uh, we, I didn't hear the very end of the second question. The Skype call broke up. It said you said if uh, if that if they become the best deck, what happens to windups? I, I something like I said uh, if if they become the most popular deck if everyone just hops on this do you think that uh, we're looking at the demise of windups or potential demise of windups demise of windups I don't know man because it's like windups are so good against everything else like yeah. I like I don't think windups has like an, any bad matchup I guess maybe besides this like I didn't realize how I didn't look at the deck list until just now you know over the past few minutes of the fire deck and how much stuff it has in there to like to help it beat windups. But it's a lot of stuff, especially the deck devastation viruses and rivalries, uh, games two and three, which is like a huge thing. Like if he's already doing well game one, then game two just like gets a lot better. Like I guess Wiggly does have messages and stuff, but yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I, I guess I could easily see the, the this fire deck becoming the best deck, and would that be the end of windups? Not really sure. Um, maybe windups. Windups are a very like adaptable kind of deck. You can do a lot with them. So uh, I don't know. Like depending on what side deck strategies windups would employ or what main deck changes they could make, yeah, it's it's a tough call. No, uh, yeah, I I I, uh, I hear that. I'm uh, I don't know, man. It's I, I'm actually surprised actually uh, that this game is actually taking as long as it has. I thought this was gonna be over like six minutes. Not to, I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to hype up Fire Fist or something like that. I'm just going insane. You know, I've watched a few games and uh, yeah, and. I don't know. Like maybe it's because just because they haven't been doing anything, uh, but uh, right. I don't know. I, I I've, I've yet to see. I've actually yet to see a, a deck devastation resolve. Anthony told me he was watching um, uh, a, a water against fire fist thing, and he resolved the deck devastation. Absolutely crippled water. Deck devastation is just a really good card. I think it's even better than crush card was in some cases against some of the decks now. Like I mean. If you look at a wind-up deck list, Crush Card hits like one, two, three cards, three cards. If you look at Wiggly's yeah. wind-up deck list, 
just it's just shark. So like, yeah. I mean, found stuff that summoned after you would see, but I mean, it's still like Crush went back at everything basically every top deck always for as long as it was legal. Very true. Um, very very true. But now it's like deck dev is like the new crush card in a way. It's not. It's not anywhere near as easy to activate. It's like imagine if crush card existed now. Like, geez, we have tour guides on top of the already broken Sangin. Like, yeah. what the hell? <laughs> so I'm just. I'm not really certain. Like, I didn't get a chance. To, I was trying to fix a uh, Skype or whatever. I didn't get a chance to see what the two back rows are. Were were they revealed back rows? Were they searched from the deck and then set? Um, or they just no. I, I believe he drew those off of the max C's. I mean, with oh, his turn. In that case, sitting at a healthy eight thousand, they could just be like solemn morning and company, and then just be fine. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Shit, jeez. Like, even if he is think. I mean, um, the real problem here for Brandon is going to be. Uh, being able to uh, even even if you wanted to attack, like you've got to you've got to think he's got like a, a tenson face down, right? Like, it, yeah. and that th th it's it, it makes it difficult. It's it's like that normal monster. You have to use some form of removal on it just to be able to attack safely, especially well, when you get this low. I don't know what the last card in his hand is. Um, he can wind up rat to get wind up magician, then Zen Mighty with the Sangin and the rat. And he can do like some kind of combination with black corn um, if he runs it. I think he does. Uh, yeah, he runs. The the uh, gene warp werewolf is right now. It's I think twenty four. Two mind. Oh, jeez, that sinks. Well, I guess in that case he can do um, just make up my stroke or whatever. Yeah, no, my, stroke I, my stroke's pretty clutch. My stroke is pretty clutch. Yeah, I just I forget that all of those things make it huge. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, norm like no, normally you need you need a rat to get a level three to just turn into a twenty five attacker, but here he is just normal summoning twenty fours. The good thing, Maestro is just such a good card. It is in this matchup. Well, he doesn't get hit with warning right here because he just loses if he doesn't. Oh. Yet. Okay, so now he needs a lot. <laughs> a <Yeah>. lot. <laughs> yeah. Two compulsories in his deck list. I, I figured it had to be warning compulsory or something. Good. Even bottomless, like even bottomless. <sighs> oh man, so now it's just like all smooth sailing for uh, Giovanni. I mean, all he has to do is declare attacks. He, he could draw nothing from this point on, and he'd still probably be really well off. But the fact of the matter is, is he will draw something because this, you have to draw for your draw phase. So yeah, I was gonna say that had to be. Pretty, watch him draw a rabbit now too. Uh, anything really? Oh my okay, god! <laughs> Look, does he have target stuff for it? Yeah. Yeah, he's got four force raiders. Okay, I, I didn't see what else. Like the graveyard is twelve cards deep. It could be. Uh, yeah. right. Oh, that is yeah. nuts. Man. So what's he gonna? Is he gonna go for? Oh yeah. Wait. That's game. Is that game? Yeah. Oh, it does a thousand. I did the monsters attack. Never mind. Shame on you, Alistair. Good card. I haven't been playing with any of the new stuff since it's come out. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I have. Uh, I remember I was doing a wind-up combo against um, against the, uh, you know, Gear Town deck with a uh, yeah. big huge four Olympics and stuff like that. So I was I was doing a the, the player wasn't great or anything, and he, he didn't have any back cards, but I was doing a pretty complicated wind-up combo, and it relied on me making Black Corn because I thought Black Corn would just kill the four thousand guy. And the lineup combo was just so good that I was able, and he was at 8,000. I was able to, to keep the black one, right? Um, make a my stroke instead. Do something else, like make infinite exceeds and just kill him that turn anyway, like despite the savage misplay of making black corn just because, man, why are so good? I love wind <laughs> Alright, so like, uh, listen, I don't want to get these uh, deck lists caught on camera. Uh, you know what? Actually, you know what? It just occurred to me. All these feature matches are being recorded in the same day, and they're not going to be posted until after the tournament's already over, so I could totally be showing these deck lists. Yeah, for sure. Do your thing then, man. Do your thing. All right, well... Hold on. Okay, so why is Giovanni giving up his deck list in Watcher's Chat? That's not a good idea, Giovanni. Don't do that. Did he really? 
Yeah. Well, he's not giving up his whole list, but he's giving hints at what he has in his deck. Like, he just said he had tour guides and stuff like that in his deck. You don't tell somebody that. All right, so let's take a look at the Giovanni's deck list. Giovanni's got the... Oh, he doesn't main deck the DDVs. He side decks them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what? I thought you were talking about that. You're Sorry, this guy called break broke up a little, like a bunch when you were uh, talking about DDV with me. I just assumed that you were talking about it, his side deck strategy. Because I was saying how it, it got a lot better for him game two and three with deck devastation and um, rivalry. Uh, well, I mean... Perhaps... I Miller, I don't know. My, wow, you know, this is crazy. I, I I didn't even realize this before. Like, look at the his fire fist ratios. He doesn't even run a lot of them. Yeah. No, not at all. I mean, that's not to say I blame him. I think Bear's the better one, but... Uh, I mean, it's really interesting, actually. Yeah. <coughs> Man, Gene Warp, Werewolf, Sabersaurus on crack. <laughs> Gene Warp becomes uh, ultimate, doesn't it? Doesn't uh, it? I don't know. You know, whatever. You don't keep it. I got time. Go back. I don't get I real cards. I hate the timeout thing. I guess it's necessary. Uh, That's why you gotta open up the watcher's chat type of space every once in a while. Uh, is that why people do that? I thought people just did that to be annoying. To be honest. Oh man. All right. So there's a good card. Oh, reborn Thunder King. Hey, hope he doesn't have like a whatever. Okay, what could he have? Mirror Force. Just Mirror Force. Yep. Now, what do you think? Do you think uh, if we slide it into uh, Messenger of Peace? That card has to be really good, right? Messenger of Peace, um, Snowman Eater. I mean, two Thunder King. I think. I mean, I I think he, the the Thunder Kings, yes. I think Snowman's, yes. I think Messenger of Peace, yes. But at the same time, you got to keep in mind that they run breakers, right? Like searchable breakers. It's not going to be your card that you're going to sit on all the all day. Exactly. That's crazy. Yeah, it's not like any of the other decks where they have to draw, you know, they have to see MST. Oh, now it seems like the opposite of the, what happened last game. It's Giovanni taking a bunch of uh, 1900s at the beginning. Oh, huh? okay. What is the well, I guess he doesn't have any. So, I guess the plan is sit on Thunder King for a turn. You can't attack it. Uh, next turn, Thunder King to the grave. Maybe attack for because your bad boy is for sure dead. It seems like it's uh, one of those Tensu cards, I think. From what I can tell. Yeah. Tensu or Starlight Road, I suppose. Yeah, one of those two. It's probably just a Starlight Road. Or a Tensu! Who knows? That's the fun of Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> stuff to say during these little you know points of interactivity where the players are thinking sadly as i'll reiterate again i don't know much about the fire deck so i don't have much of an opinion on it it seems pretty scary to play against honestly any deck with a rescue rabbit in it with the ability to do like four thousand off of one normal summon assuming that both the attacks go through directly or whatever Busted. that's just really stupid yeah uh, something else I want to, I don't want to, it's not pointing out, but uh, I want to draw your attention to the number of watchers in this game. Like, yeah. it's getting kind of ridiculous. Like, every match so far has had like 60-something watchers, now we're up to 80-something. And, uh, I mean, it's not like it's not like I'm spamming the DN chat saying, hey, watch this game. It's just, uh, most of these people haven't even, uh, are, or weren't... The whole time. Well, what do you know? I was just wrong. Yeah, you're an idiot. Um, sometimes. Oh, okay. oh, man, that's the worst way to use a compulsory, too. Yeah. That's so... Especially when Messenger's up, too. All right. Oh, so, 
Is Bear the one that destroys things? Yeah. That's the, that's your breaker. And then it attacks, and then it's going to search a thing that is going to protect it from the Thunder King. Yeah, Compulsory is not even... I wouldn't even be upset to have to use Compulsory right there. That's so stupid. Whoa, what? Yeah, so why did he do that? I'm not really sure. He didn't want to... just want to do something. I don't know. He wants to keep his guy at 17, I guess? I guess. I don't know how much I like that. But, I mean, whatever. Oh, wait. It destroys monsters. No. When this card inflicts damage to your opponent. No, 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 no. Once per turn, you can send one face of fire formation spell trap card to target one monster on the field. Destroy that target. I oh, that whoa, my bad. I had the wrong picture. I mean, they all look really, like, similar. Okay, so that is why MS2 is played and not just sending the free uh, yeah. tanky, tanky to me. Right. Uh, so, wait a second. Any card broken? Let me read this. <laughs> my bad. It's it's really... Monsters broken, too. Say what? Oh, I forgot to I, I forgot to mention that my bad. They only search out the spells. They don't search out the traps. So he's not going to protect himself from the Thunder King. Yeah. I keep I made the same mistake earlier too. Yeah. All right. So Thunder King's still going to be really good right here, yeah. I mean, that really did. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, because the other tank he's just going to be dead. Already. Yep. Yeah, and it was presumably just going to the MS to the great next turn, so uh, I mean, he just had to use an MST for just to attack. Just, uh, oh. Um, why didn't he get uh? He said a spell. Oh, that man that really sucks. You can't get the 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 Tensu card or whatever that man that blows. Yeah. I this mean, is also disappointing. Everything does work the way I want it to work. Yeah, <laughs> I I I always. I always feel like way, but uh, oh, you know what? Never mind. I was gonna say that there was a, another play here, but I didn't realize Giovanni was so low. Let's get into that crunch time. I think it's Brandon's. Brandon's turn. Okay, okay. So he's got five. One of which is the Thunder King that automatically just swings right over that guy and makes the other tanky dead. If it was a tanky. I mean, he flipped it up and down really quick. I'm pretty sure it's tanky. It is tanky. I don't think he... Yeah, he doesn't have any other things, right? Oh, no, no, no. My bad. The one that lets you double summon. That's. I guess he didn't have another thing to summon or whatever? No, you can only use that once per turn, bro. No, 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 no. No, I'm talking about the other one that lets you double summon. Yes, what about it? He does play that. Yeah, so I, what I'm saying is I guess he didn't have um another beast. Oh, another summon. monster. Yeah, true story. You're right. My bad. Oh, Thunder King. I mean, that's but, really uh, going to... It's going to suck for him. Because I guess the possibility of him flipping, attacking... No. Searching, is that what it, uh, you wanted to do, I guess? Okay, okay. Well, I'm what? learning. I'm learning. So Thunder King is lethal next turn if nothing happens. I mean, he could pretty sweet. Giovanni could have drawn a bear to get rid of the Thunder King and then search. Like, yeah, that would be pretty sweet. I mean, using heavy was the right play, but, uh, I mean, Giovanni... Wow, what a draw! Oh. Man, Rapid is such a good card. Indeed. I think it's much better in this deck. Well, uh, that's also a tough call. Rabbit kind of can outright with the game, you know, in, in the traditional Dino Rabbit deck. But Rabbit in this just seems less, you know, potential for it being bad. Because the monsters that you run are actually legitimately not, not terrible. They're like, they're oftentimes like, what, 21, 2200, 2500 attack normal summons? Yep. Deck Devastation Virus as well, and they're just huge and attack over Thunder Kings for free. I can't say that I'm really a fan of normal monsters being played in decks. Um, I don't like how Konami's pushed the support for that at all. Whoa. I just think... I Actually, know. I re that's one of the things I really do... Pre I really appreciate that Konami's repurposed normal monsters. And make it, like, between Gen X Controller and, 
And this, I actually, I also like this repurposing of Rescue Rabbit too, because I'm fucking, I mean, I'm sick and tired of seeing uh, Saber Swords being the only card that you can use with it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't think they really did push normals in the right way. They, I don't know if there is a right way to do it. Um, in in the Hieratic deck, I guess it's a kind of the right way to do it, I suppose. Um, Genix, Genix, uh, controller is is. I mean, Genix, yeah, Genix controller and Genix Undyne. I don't think that's necessarily right because. I mean, before the water deck came out, the the, the the controller was only used for, like... I mean, I guess... But I wouldn't really call that using a normal monster. i just call it searching a monster that just so happens not to have an effect. Like, uh, it just, it's a tuner as well. Like, they could have... They usually just print normal monsters uh, with an effect on it that doesn't do anything just so it's not a normal monster. I don't, I don't know. It's just... And Rabbit is a really generic card that... Uh, it's just I don't like that that way of pushing normal monsters. Like if they added like spell cards and draw cards and maybe stuff like that to support normals, but just an ignorant card that says make an exceed. Basically, it's not really using the normal monsters. It's just like making an exceed with them, like a one card huge exceed that negates anything or in this case searches searches something instantly. And yeah, I don't like that. But yeah, it's yeah. cool. So it is Brandon that is now losing this game, I, I suppose. It depends if he draws a wind-up monster. Well, you know, I you think that uh, do you think he still has uh, uh, factories in his main deck? Uh, in his main deck? What so, do you mean? like, do you think he sided him out? Did he side them out or did he? Uh, I I don't know much about this matchup. Like, what what you want to be doing when you're playing wind-ups? So I mean, I still feel like I want them. I think Factory Rabbit is good historically. Like I, I, I mean, it's the, the times when people side out the factories are usually in matchups where you get everything negated, like a like rap or something like that. But this doesn't feel like one of those times. Oh, so he could just be dead here if um he has any way to make an exceed at all. Oh, see, okay, well, Factory was a card. There you go. That's what I was. I thought the face down was Factory. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would definitely be keeping all my factories. So this deck isn't one of those decks that negates anything that you do, uh, at all, so, yeah, I like factories. Plus it gives you more cards to throw at them, <coughs> which is usually what you want to be doing in any game. Alrighty, so what am I looking out for here? Uh, can Wiggly just lose the game to Bear? Is that is that a possibility? Can you just die, or no, Bear's only 1600, so I guess not. No. Either way, he can um, lose to uh, the. Oh, he doesn't run it. My bad. Never mind. There was another one. The eighteen one. The eighteen one. When you, if you activate a spell, you can set a trap from your deck. But then you can send two face up things to special a thing from your graveyard. So he would have two guys on the board, and then Bear could pop the monster and then attack yeah. directly. He doesn't run it. Interesting. Hi. Yeah, somebody in the watchers chat just made a good point. He said, so I'm guessing the set card is a bluff since we know that you drew the shark. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that'd be very true. necessarily mean he's in a bad position because he is at 2200 so you know yeah and and giovanni's at 400 yeah. i so want to know what giovanni's going to do to this uh to this rat right now the rat is potentially just game <laughs> if uh, does nothing else so he has no effect with or anything like that which he very well you know could have effect with we haven't seen one this game he does have three in hand which is not a small number of cards necessarily yeah so good call I totally forgot about that. But I would have liked to see maybe, and this is, again, not going off of my incredible knowledge of the fire deck, but just that is bear, right? Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> just to knock down to the, the, the what, what do you mean, be at 400 or, or he's at 22, so 600, get the search, and then uh, have like a, a way to protect himself from the losing the game next turn. 
And then if he does, like if he has a Baylor to, to keep her at attack, then Bear is just game. And if, if not, then he would lose anyway, I, I assume. Oh, so. If, if said another... I was going to say. Oh, well. If... What I was going to so, say was if he if he's pop, if he had another monster, he had game because of Cowboy. Right. But, yeah. yeah. But I don't think he does. No. Oh, doesn't matter. Not, oh, he just That's game. If it's not hand. No, it's game anyway. Oh, Valor, right? My bad. That's a card. Yeah. Huge deal. Oh, Giovanni doesn't sound happy. But even so, they'd only be going to game three, you know? Yeah. Man, that shark really, like, made a difference. Yeah. Brandon correctly, uh, you know, uh, diagnosing his situation right now. Oh, not that big a deal. I guess he's... Nope, doesn't... No, Valor, he can draw a Valor for the shark. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Oh, that was so uh, clutch. Uh, yeah, he still, I mean, even though he didn't activate on the, the rat, he still gets activated on the shark. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, he's still, like, you know, very much so in this. But uh, he, I don't think he has another background, you know? I yeah. don't feel like it. And uh, in that case, you know, you could just. Wow. <laughs> That is crazy. Like, that was his only out, right? Yeah, it was either that or just lose instantly. Oh, my God. So, now, right here, if he has... Pop monster. Activated the, um, this is why he really should have activated the bear, because now any four would have been game with uh, Ga Ga Ga. True story. There was no reason not to activate bear. Like, you don't need a 1700 attack. You're going to die to any acid dollar anyway, so, you know, might as well. Or, <laughs> you even die to fucking, uh... Or to freaking Leviathan, so. <clears throat> yeah, definitely should have activated the bear. I mean, it doesn't... I don't think it matters. I mean, you still... I mean, that's not true. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Dang, no monster. No, it's bad, because, you know, a monster would have been game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I so, I agree on that. I'm just saying it's really unfortunate that he didn't draw a monster. Uh, so, what's going on here? So what are his two in hand? Are they just nothing? I mean, he has to be drawing cards, right? So, any, <laughs> well, if he had made the right play, which he didn't. And any 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 spell or trap looks like it would be pretty good besides, like, you know, Starlight Road. Or, uh, I guess at this point, Solomon. But, yeah, there's, like, a lot of cards that he could have that are just good to have. A Veiler would be good still, you know? I mean, I don't know. I think... <laughs> Whoa, what is... Hey, so what this deck? Uh, that is a good question. What could he possibly set? Sangin? Max... Yeah, Sang he does run Sangin, right? right. Hmm. Um, yeah, so what's happening here? Is that a live back row? What's going on? Has Gleevan played any MSTs? Or he's played one MST at least, I know. He's played heavy as well, so yeah. It's gotta be a mirror or a bottomless. Those are always only outs. Oh. Moment of Truth? What's or Solemn Judgment. Here? Target hole. Yeah, we would have flipped already, but what? Oh, what's going on here? Uh, okay. I'm wondering right. why that's relevant. Okay, okay. Penis chain or something? What's going on here? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Well, he wow. said shark. He didn't even say rat. Um, I don't know why he wouldn't just activate rivalry, right? Instantly? Oh, because he didn't want him to get... Wow, why didn't he just get... Oh, this is something you can make with, with two threes in anyway, so... so Solar Silver Mountain? Yeah, it's not a beast. Oh, true story. Oh, yeah, rivalry, not uh, Gozen. Rivalry is way better than Gozen match. Yeah, no, it is. Especially against... They're both insane cards, but there's a lot of things that you can do in windups to play around the goes and match with, uh, you know, rabbits and rats and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, and souls, so, and just infinite stuff with rat and rabbit. But uh, there's not much you can do against a uh, rivalry. It, it shuts down pretty much everything. I think that's game. 
Well, not game. I take it back. Never mind. Oh, wait, he, no, he can pop it. Never mind. Yeah, that, that would be game. It goes to defense, right? I'm pretty sure it goes. There's like 91 people. They can all say so. Yeah, that thing's an attack. Can somebody please... Uh, Are you uh, sure it's an attack? Yeah, positive. Whoa, really? Rat turns to defense at resolution of his effect, and since you cannot resolve his effect... Um, yeah, stays an attack, so he just loses. Right. Well, then. I didn't know that. Thank you for teaching me something, Alistair. I learn something new every dueling day. Is this, um... This is game two. Giovanni won game one, right? Yeah, this is one game two, so like I said... That's match. But, uh, he's about to move, I think, so... He doesn't get to... Oh, he does, he does, he does. He didn't do it the right way. If he just, um... Well, I guess he had a, a rat, too. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's cool. If Giovanni just would have, you know, sent, activated Bear's Effect two turns ago, he would have won the game by now anyway. So uh, mm -hmm. he just flips up the saying and then he made a good read on. Um, so... Why does it die? Uh, oh, Beast. Uh, True story. But now he just gets Tour Guide. Not that he wants to have Tour Guide. Hey, wait a second. Reason. All Beast wait, monsters... He, you wh Wait, why does it go to the grave? What do you mean? Because Beast ran up rats at 700 attack, right? No. It's not? Hold up. Oh, well, I'll control one type of anyway, face ups. So rivalry just kills it. I thought I thought that's what the thing was, but yeah, it's just rivalry. Oh, my bad. True story. <laughs> I was about to send a Our message. It's like he just wins. Yeah. Alright, 2 0 Man. You know, it's really unfortunate because Brandon was my pick to win. This tournament and the last tournament. The last tournament he bubbled and lost, and then now he lost in top four. Um, anyway, so uh, uh, so I don't think anybody wants to win. I don't think he's very popular amongst the people. Right. Well, I'm with any of these competitors, but uh, it seems to be popular opinion that Wiggly is just kind of aggressive or attacks people. Uh, well. I mean, I, I I always like giving people the benefit of the doubt, regardless. Yeah. It, he's also I, he's also one of the people who I, who've played the most consistently with the deck that is difficult to be consistent with, unless you're playing well. Like yeah. so, I mean, I give him that credit. A, a very strong matchup against the beast deck or the fire deck because of just how his deck is built. Uh, main game one at least. Game two gets a little bit better, but even still, then then the other guy gets to bring all the cards that hurt you even more than your cards hurt him. So yeah. I guess it made sense that he went 2-0. Okay. Anyway, Alistair, thank you for uh, doing this. I appreciate having you on. As always, love to have you back sometime soon. Um, see ya. Take it easy.